Question 20 reads, at a beach, a rectangular swimming area with dimensions x and y meters and a total area of 4,000 square meters is marked off on three sides with rope as shown below and bounded on the fourth side by the beach. Additionally, rope is used to divide the area into three smaller rectangular sections. In terms of y, what is the total length in meters of the rope that is needed both to bound the three sides of the area and to divide it into sections? So, looking at this problem, I'm seeing variables in the question, variables in the answer, and this phrase, in terms of y. This is a really good indication that this might be a making up numbers problem. So, let's look at the variables, x and y, and see what information do we know about x and y. Well, we know that x times y has got to be equal to 4,000, because that's the area um, of this pool. Oh, right. Yeah, the swimming area. So x times y has got to be 4,000. But there's no other additional stipulations on x and y, so we are free to make up numbers for x and y, as long as they fit this rule. So I'm going to decide that x is equal to 40 and y is equal to 100. This makes sense. x is the shorter distance, and then we have y the longer one, and 40 and 100 seem like a reasonable number. So now, let's answer the question being asked. What is the total length of the rope that is needed to bound the three sides of the area and divide it into sections? Well, we need this distance, which is y, and then one, two, three, four x's. So the total amount is y plus four x. Now, what we're going to do is take the numbers we've made up for x and y and plug them in so we get a numerical result. Okay, so that'll be 100 <clears throat> plus 4 times 40, or 100 plus 160 equals 260. So we know that the answer to the question is that you need 260 meters of rope. Of course, none of the answer choices say 260, they all have y's in them. But what we'll do is use the value we've made up for y in order to see which of the answer choices actually says 260. So starting with A, we have Y, oops, which is 100 plus 4,000 divided by Y, which is still 100. These cross out, we have 100 plus 40, or 140, which is not the answer we want. Moving on to B, 100 plus 16,000 over 100, so that simplifies to 160. 100 plus 160 equals 260. That's the answer we want, but just to be careful, we can keep going. 100 plus 16,000 over, now we have 3y on the bottom, so that's 300. These zeros still cancel out, and we have 160 over 3, which won't even give us a whole number, so we know that's not the case. Um, D, we have 3y, so that's 300 plus, well, that's already bigger than 260, so D is out. And then E, again, we have this 3y out front, so 300, that's already bigger than 260, and it's out. So D, E, C, and A are out. B gives us the answer we want, and that is the correct answer, B. And that's how you do it. Please continue to check out more MindFish videos.